Ah, got a couple of naughty ones here. <laughs> um, I've been tossing them, like I've been saying, just doing the seven and a half kilometers. We just do a quick little short one um, and try not to loft fly them too much because, you know, we're in summer now and the falcons don't let my birds fly at all. As I've watched over the last two to three years living in this property, I get absolutely hammered and I lose a lot of pigeons around the loft from that. And this year, from all the changes I've made, I actually haven't even lost one pigeon around the loft. And I'm talking like little babies trying to break in. Uh, I think the first year I had this particular loft here, I lost 10 in one day from the Falcons. Um, we managed to get one of those back. It got reported and teared up. But um, so, like, I'm just getting pretty excited because these little changes we're making, it's very untraditional to general pigeon things, but we just live in a different area here. So we're kind of just trying to change things up a little bit and see what works. But so the birds... Are doing quite well considerably they've been in the basket quite a lot of times already i haven't really been filming it i'm um, just enjoying a little bit of time off and spending more time with the family and the kids because i've got toilet training and i've got another son coming soon as well so <laughs> there's a lot going on with christmas and all that so uh, just getting them out for a toss every day um, luckily i've got four days off so i'm going to toss them every single day at seven and a half kilometers and then hopefully next week i can get them out to 20 kilometers um, and then I'll just keep them there and they'll start to molt I would say in the next four maybe four-ish weeks Who knows it'll be around about there somewhere it depends the weather this this season um, Has really strange so I'm trying to just figure it out But I thought if we can at least get them out to 20 kilometers and try and you know all consistently get them home um, I'll be pretty happy before they start molting because our problems we've had is when the birds are finished molting we've got a very short period of time we've got to get them loft flying and fit um, and then out on the road which there's it's always 40 35 to 40 degrees and the falcons hammer us left right and center so um, the condition i just can't get them in condition and we lose a lot of birds from that so this year i've started way early and we haven't lost a pigeon yet and we're already by now we would have lost 15 to 20 um, but we are training outside that main falcon period too which makes a huge difference because um, we've only had one that's been injured from the toss and he's still here somewhere as one of those ones on the perches but he's back in the tosses as well I think it might be that one just down there so I'm um, here sat, sat out for a few weeks um, but they're back into it now so I'm pretty happy like things are changing um, this is the next group let's go and have a little look at these guys they are um, they're out doing a little bit of loft flying so these ones are actually most likely won't start tossing i might just keep these ones for a little bit later in the season like i said i'm having a baby so um, i at least want to have those 30 to 40 ready to race and then these ones we can potentially bring on a little bit later that's the plan at the moment there's some really cracking ones in here some nice pied ones as all the pied ones are related um, but at the moment they're just sort of flapping around the loft some of them are flying quite well but the others are still sort of getting there because there's a little bit of variation in the age there but I'm not pushing these ones at the moment I'll give them another week or two and then I'll just start really pushing them up but um, yeah there is some really nice pigeons in amongst this lot and some little friendly ones as well so I'm pretty happy how this group's going I've got another group in here which we'll go and have a look at um, but there's some real crackers in here I like this one you can see here he's wanting me to come over and play with him Come on, buddy. But then we've got a few that are a little bit um, not as friendly as him. Oh, someone's landed on my head. Let's keep going through. My recessive red hen, she's still here. She'll most likely be racing again. She's, like I said, she's the best color we've had. I've got two babies from her actually, two um, over in this section. I know which one of them is. I just have to have a look and see where the other one is. Um, the hens will be pretty close to going in with the boys as well. So we'll be getting ready for Patea. So basically Patea, we had the fourth race this week. Um, I've got two pigeons in there and I'm happily, very, very happy last night. Two days after the actual race, um, Kaya, our uh, slate hen, she made it back just before they cut it off. So. Um, touch wood i've actually got two pigeons i sent two pigeons and i've got two pigeons for the final next weekend so that'll be on the sixth 
um, and I'll be watching that on live stream because that's going to be pretty exciting. It is my son's birthday party the same day, so I'm hoping I can wrap it up quite quickly and get all the little kids home and put the live stream on the TV and kick back and enjoy it because, um, yeah, I only thought I had one pigeon and she just come back. So I'm, I, I just can't explain how excited I am about that because um, to get two pigeons all the way to the final and only send them two, that's... Um, a really really good effort I think from those two birds and it's really amazing too because I had the round before those two their four brothers and sisters we sent them to Meadows one loft race this year and they did not even make it into the first race I don't even think they made it past the tosses the short tosses so I don't know what's happened the genes have probably felt a little bit differently there but um, we've got two pigeons there against 5,800 or so other pigeons from the best flies in the world so um, if I get one of those pigeons home on that day on the final, man, I'm going to be so happy because um, that's a big achievement. Um, so if Daniel Brandt, you're watching, this little one is from the hen that you sent me. So this, I bred three of them um, and this is the last one and he's actually a beautiful little pigeon when paired up to Apache. So it's, I actually really like that one's the handles really nice. So we'll see how that one turns out. Um, so this is one here, he's going to Adam. It's got the special ring race on it. We've, we'll have a look at them as we go through as well. Um, here's one of our split recessive reds. Come here. I'll bring you up here where we can see you. Some of these ones are a little bit crazy, so maybe we'll just we'll try and have a look at them from a distance. Um, but this one here is one of our split recessive reds. And I'm pretty sure this one here one of the two big blue bars actually. So it's one of those two blue bars, big ones at the back there is the other one, which is odd because it threw like a really big pigeon. It might be that one actually there. I have to check my records, but I've got um, two big blue bars in here and it's actually the nest mate. So that's recessive red split. So it's one of them there, which is a bit odd, but um, we'll see how that one pans out anyway. So that's these guys uh, at the moment. They just I've just started moving them into this section, but like I said, I've got the naughty pigeons out there. I'm trying to get in, so I actually can't get those babies into the box until later. So that's annoying, um, but I'm going to starve those ones out. Another problem I've got to fix is these two here, Rosetta, um, and another new hen that I brought in last year. Well, this year actually, still we haven't changed years yet. They've actually paired up, which is a real problem because I actually want to get these guys. Um, in with the cock shortly and I don't want them laying eggs and getting out of sync from the rest of them because I want all my birds for Pattaya this year I want them lined up because I've got some good hens here and I've got some good pairs in mind and I think um, you know a combination of all my best one loft birds so the birds I've got in Pattaya at the moment but then a combination of my second place in the final and my seventh place in the final in Meadows as well I'm going to try and blend all these together and just try and get a bird that is very consistent but at the same time, gets right. all the birds get to the final. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough one, but the, but the genetics are there and they're proven, but we'd somehow gotta try and blend those ones together and hopefully that that blending actually works. So um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting the next couple of years and hopefully you guys are still watching because I feel I've got a good feeling about those birds. Let's go and have a look at these cocks. Uh, you guys, I'm going to starve you out today. I think he was learning a lesson. Can't have his hanging around. They actually got tapped up by the falcon when they come back from their toss this morning. So that could be a little bit of a problem. But there has been a couple of naughty ones that hanging around. Um, the falcons really did give them a touch up this morning when they were coming in over the back here. They actually come in through the trees. So um, and I've seen the peregrine trying to get them, but they were pretty low. Um, but yeah, got in today, gave it a bit of a clean. The boys are all doing pretty good. Um, the only one you haven't seen is this other new cock here, which I'm hoping he's not pairing up. So these, so he's in here with Apache, and you can see that he looks like Apache. And for that reason, he's actually, I'm pretty sure he's Apache's brother, or he's pretty much like the exact same way bred. Well, they're definitely not paired up. I think they just want, both want this box. So he's actually in here for my potato pairings as well, um, because Apache here, we did have... Um, a baby in in one of the one loft races from Apache and it was quite good it just didn't have that staying power but um, I may pair him up with Stealth this year I haven't locked in my pairs yet um, but she was my seventh place in the final um, so she's not fast but she's got that staying power that I like that can make it to the final so um, we will go into more of that later anyway that's just the pairings that I've got to try and make up and figure out because 
at this point. These are all the cocks that I've got in here that I want to use. Um, they're getting a bit crazy. They need some hens. They're going absolutely really crazy. The only one that I'm still trying to figure out is this little wild card here. He's, um, he's actually related to my storm birds a little bit. Um, but I just brought him back off my friend. We've talked about him a fair bit, but um, he uh, he's only a young bird, so this will be his first time breeding. Uh, but he actually flew to 900 kilometers in his first year as a young bird, so, and he flew every single race all the way through, which is for a one-off pigeon. I'm excited, so I may, I'm still trying to figure that one out, but we'll um, touch that in different videos. But I'm gonna catch you guys later. I've got other things to do. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you later.